cybersecurity is an ever-growing field, and representation within it matters more than ever. We here at the Other Side of the Firewall podcast strive to highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, people of color who have made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall into those senior and C-suite level positions. Aside from interviews of IT professionals just like you, our crew will have fun discussing the latest and greatest news, measures to protect yourself from bad actors on the interwebs, and sprinkle in some games and entertainment as well. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the show. What's up, everybody? This is the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who have made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall to those C-suite and senior level positions. My name is Ryan Williams, and today is a little bit different. Today, I received my Forensics 508 kit for the GAC Certified Forensics Analyst course. So FOR 508, FOR stands for Forensics. So, from Sands, I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to jump to this course. I've been waiting for this kit to get here for a while now. So before I open the box, let's talk about what the course is. So the uh, 4508 is designed for people who have been pen testers or certified ethical hackers or uh, forensics analysts who want to take their uh, skill set to the next level. So with that being said, uh, some of the prerequisites for the class. So they kind of want you to take 4500 for Windows, which is Windows uh, Forensics. I do not have 4500, but uh, I'll go into a little bit of what I do have and why I think I'm qualified to uh, take the class. So I am a uh, Certified Information System Security Professional, or CISSP, as well as I have my Master's in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance. So. Um, with that being said, I also have my Certified Ethical Hacker from the EC Council. Uh, with that, I feel as though I have the basics, which kind of cover what 4, 500 uh, covers, plus it also goes into the Mac OS and Linux systems. So I think I have that pretty much covered, but as I progress, I'll let you know if I find out that I have some gaps in my knowledge that perhaps I need to go back and brush up on Windows systems a little bit more. But I think I'll be okay. So what is covered in the class? So the class is either going to be a six-day course if you decide to do it synchronous with an instructor, or it's going to be an on-demand course in which they give you four months of access to the labs and the course material, videos and things of that nature, uh, that are all pre-recorded for the, the four-month time period. So it's pretty expensive. As you move up in cyber, you'll start to notice that certification as well as the courses start to get kind of pricey. So the certification exam is roughly $800. Price may vary, it may change over time, but as of this recording, it's $800. The class itself is somewhere between $7,000 and $8,000, so I received a little bit of a discount. Uh, I believe I paid for the course and the exam, I paid roughly uh, $7,020, I believe. And that shipped me the books. It got me the uh, the exam voucher to uh, to eventually cash in once I feel comfortable after I get done with the course material. And it also received the four months of course access, which are all like I said, the videos, uh, as well as the uh, the labs, the lab environment, and whatever's in this box. According to the syllabus, four or five away is broken into six different kind of domains. So. Uh, excuse, excuse me, I'm off the screen because it's a lot of information to, to remember. So you have 508.1, which is advanced incident response and threat hunting. You also have 4508.2, which is intrusion analysis. 4508.3, which is memory forensics and incident response and threat hunting. Uh, .4, which is timeline analysis. .5, which is incident response and, and hunting across the enterprise. Advanced Adversary and Anti-Forensics Detection, which I'm pretty pumped about. And then you have dot six, which is the APT Threat Group Incident Response Challenge. So I assume that's the capstone. Uh, that kind of challenge everything that I've learned. And then, once you take the test, pass the test, you will receive your GX Certified Forensics Analyst Certification. So, 
makes you the real deal. Uh, I believe it puts you at uh, somewhere between a level one and level two, if not just a level two uh, stock analyst, uh, as well as opens up other uh, windows of opportunity for you as well. And then you can also go into um, a couple more of the forensic courses that GIAC has uh, because it's a prerequisite for advancing up the, uh, the search chain. So, without further ado, I would like to start the unboxing. So, drum roll, please. Comes with wrapping paper, cardboard. I'm sure you're excited about all that stuff. This guy looks like a cassette tape. There's something in there. So it's sealed. I'm gonna open this guy up uh, at the end because who knows what's in it, right? Uh, you receive the welcome letter. So welcome to Sands on Demand course. Very nice of you. All right. Uh, and then you receive your course material in your books, right? So you'll have some of the stuff digitally, but I like to have paper in my hand. I'm just that type of person. I like to be able to highlight. Uh, it's an open book, uh, roughly four hour test. Um, with that being said, I've talked to people who've taken it in the past and said that you will need all the time for the test. You will also need your highlights, your tabs. Like whenever I hear a, a test is open, out, is open book in that many hours, it leads me to believe it is extremely difficult and has some complicated material in it. So luckily I got the test, test materials, or test, test uh, study materials that I can bring to the test. So no test compromise, people. Uh, so you have uh, dot one, which is advanced incident response and threat hunting. That's the first book. You have dot two, which is intrusion analysis. So it's a little bit thicker. Getting, getting up there. You have dot three, memory forensics and incident response and threat hunting. So about the same weight as dot two. And the way the book matters, right? Uh, dot four, dot five, so you have timeline analysis, advanced adversary, and anti-forensic detection. Again, this is what I'm pumped about. Um, I, I definitely want to get in there and learn how to uh, be able to find the threat and stop the threat before it gets worse, before they are able to uh, have an advanced persistent uh, uh, threat in my systems. So pretty excited about this. So a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier of a book. Obviously it's two chapters. And this big boy right here is pretty big. This is the SRL Intrusion Exercise Workbook and Labs. So this is definitely uh, part of the, uh, the price tag. Like you're gonna be able to get in there use real world type scenarios built into them. So I'm pretty excited about this guy right here. Like uh, getting in there and actually be able to do it. I'm gonna share as much information as I can. Obviously no test compromise or infringement of SANS, GX, license, um, and all that and intellectual property, all that good stuff, right? But I'll give you my, hey, this is our, the, the hurdles, these were the challenges, this is what kind of what I learned from it. And, uh, I'm not going to be teaching you because I'm not an instructor for uh, GIAC or SANS or any of those guys. But I want to give you my experience so that way you know what you're getting into before you take it yourself. Just put these things back in the box neatly. So I'm hoping to be done before the four month time period. I don't like cutting things close. But I like to take as much time as necessary, right? Because I want to pass it the first time. Uh, and. I want to go on to the next thing, so I never want to be uh, uh, stagnant in the in the profession. Like this is my passion. This is an, an awesome trade to be in, and it's ever evolving. So I'm always learning something new. So it's pretty exciting stuff. But without further ado, right? What's what's in the uh, the cassette tape? So take the tape off carefully. I know people really go crazy for this unboxing stuff. Oh, okay. Open it up. What's inside? Oh. So there's a cardboard cutout that says, stop. Your license may be expired. Don't worry, just register and get a total of six months on us. Okay, good to know. Don't forget to register. So it's another card. Let's me know I have so much time and how much value it's worth. Another important note card. Thank you for your purchase. F response, all software downloads, mission guides, and manuals can be found on the website. It gives me the website and the password. 
so I'm not going to share that with you. Um, it has a customer service card. It's nice then. Okay. And then. Da, 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 da. Hey, listeners. Please remember that you can support this podcast directly by becoming members of the show's Patreon. Here, you'll be able to listen to the podcast seven days early, completely ad free. However, in these trying times, we understand that you may not be able to become a Patreon just yet. In that case, please listen to the show once it's available on free feeds. Leave us constructive feedback and share with your blurred friends and family. Thank you. Here are all the tools that we'll need in the lab. So the lab environment is all online. Uh, I'll do a blog into it and what have you. I kind of looked and poked, poked my head around. But the tools that I can practice with, all right, sorry for the time skip. There's a plane taking off over my house, so, you know, go figure. Right? You decide to fly over it when I'm doing something, right? But like I was saying, in the thumb drive, it has all the tools that I can use for practice as well as there's probably some other cool stuff in there that I'm not even aware of. And I'll let you know, like after I uh, uh, bust this bad boy open and start to do my labs and things of that nature. So I'll keep you guys posted. Please continue to tune in. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, your uh, patronage on the Patreon is greatly appreciated. Uh, remember, you can watch our, our show seven days early, completely ad-free. So please remember to tune in to the, uh, the podcast. Uh, the format's changed a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit more concise. We're giving to you in very uh, consumable, digestible, I guess you could say, chunks. So instead of giving you the whole hour and 20 minutes, we've broken it up without hacking at the... Uh, the uh, the video is very purposeful is what we've changed the format to so hope you like it please give us some feedback let us know remember again if you watch this on youtube like share subscribe hit that bell for notifications if you're listening to it on audio remember we can be found on platform choice of service but share with your friends so that way they can start listening as well uh, again the feedback is great uh, you can hit us up on the uh, the socials you can reach all those through the website www dot the other side of the firewall dot com. Go there, you can get to our Twitter, our Patreon, you can get to our YouTube, you can get to the Facebook group, which is pretty active, uh, as well as Instagram and all that good stuff. We're everywhere. And LinkedIn as well. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Rye Rye Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy on both uh, Twitter as well as Clubhouse now. Uh, we've kind of started to expand our our reach try to find people who are of like mind, uh, who can benefit from the platform. Uh, and you can also leave us a voicemail if you're into um, listening to us on Spotify. There's a link that you can go to, and then we'd love to hear your voice and be able to answer your questions. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. And then I will have another video when I get into and or finish 508.1, which is... Advanced incident response and threat hunting. So, as soon as I get done with that material, I will keep you posted on my progress. So, with that being said, thank you for your time and happy hunting. Hey, listeners, please remember that you can support this podcast directly by becoming members of the show's Patreon. Here, you'll be able to listen to the podcast seven days early, completely ad free. However, in these trying times, we understand that you may not be able to become a Patreon just yet. In that case, please listen to the show once it's available on free feeds. Leave us constructive feedback and share with your blurred friends and family. Thank you.